A gas explosion in a residential building in southern Russia on Thursday killed four people and injured another four, local emergency officials said. The blast occurred early in the morning in the city of Cherkisk in the Karakachurkessia region, which borders Georgia. The explosion partially destroyed two upper stories of a five-story residential building, the emergency officials said. Russian law enforcement has launched a criminal probe, suspecting safety violations. Gas explosions in residential buildings are fairly common in Russia. In August, a gas explosion destroyed a section of a five-story residential building in the Ural Mountains, killing 11 people. At the time, the Russian state news agency TASS reported that between the beginning of 2022 and August 1, 2024, at least seven such explosions occurred, killing a total of over 50 people. По поручению главы создан оперативный штаб, на котором будет принято решение по оказанию всей необходимой помощи пострадавшим людям. Создан пункт временного размещения граждан. Все э, жители этого дома будут доставлены и обеспечены горячим питанием. Kamala Harris has Bruce Springsteen and Beyonce. Donald Trump has Kid Rock and Hulk Hogan. As the 2024 campaign whirls into its final week, Democrats are noticeably leaning on their star power advantage, calling on a diverse range of celebrities to endorse Harris, invigorate audiences and, they hope, spur people to the ballot box. Democrats long have long enjoyed a celebrity advantage and used it to close out presidential campaigns when attention and energy are critical. That upper hand has grown during Trump's rise, a period that saw scores of celebrities, even apolitical stars, break their silence and speak out against the Republican leader. The advantage often means raucous, fiery events in the closing days of a race, but history, named Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign, highlights how the energy at those events can sometimes paper over broader issues with a candidate. Recently in Atlanta, Harris and former President Barack Obama headlined a rally that featured a performance by Springsteen and a speech by filmmaker Tyler Perry. And singer-songwriter Maggie Rogers performed a five-song set at a Harris Tim Walls rally in and Arbor, Michigan, on Monday. I come for Harris, said Ashley Oberheide, a neighborhood resident who attended the outdoor rally held in Burns Park. I love that musical acts are getting behind her, but I am always here for Harris. Audrey Hudson, a University of Michigan nursing student who voted for the first time days before the rally, described her attendance as, doing my civic duty combined with a concert of an artist I love. People have such a personal connection to musicians and the music they make. Especially artists like Taylor Swift, Maggie Rogers, Gracie Abrams, Sabrina Carpenter, Hudson said. When they have that personality in their music, it really makes them more relatable to young people. 29-year-old and Arbor resident Rachel Lieberman shared that the rally was her third Harris event and that Rogers was a cherry on top. I'm here to see Harris and Walls do their thing, she said. Many of the events are part of Harris's, When We Vote We Win, concert series that aims to spur supporters to vote early in key battlegrounds. And she is expected to have more high-profile endorsers in the coming days. Trump also enjoys the support of celebrities with a deep appeal to his core base of voters. But the Republican candidate largely doesn't have an answer for Harris's celebrity-infused events. Trump, whose career has turned him into a celebrity, often provides the star power at his events. And how about the incredible 
Maggie Rogers. Maggie Rogers says vote, people. Trick, trick. Where's trick, trick? Trick, trick. Come here, trick, trick. Honestly, she's the cherry on top. I'm here to see Harris and Waltz do their thing. This is my third rally that I've been to, but I am super excited that we get to see Maggie Rogers play too. I come for Harris. I love that musical acts are getting behind her, but I am always here for Harris. So being able to be here and see her, it's kind of like, you know, doing my civic duty combined with a concert of an artist.